Welcome back to Odyssey News. I am Mike Odyssey, and uh, you guys have spoken loud and clear in the last video. I mean, I think it's been the best performing video ever on the channel. Let me give you the analytics just to let you know. 2,000 views, 100 new subscribers for that one video, 100 new subscribers, over 100 comments as well with that one video. So that's been the most successful video on the channel and it had to do with the next gen console. I broke it down from trying to figure out when Nintendo will release it based on their release pattern from the past, right? Then we spoke about the name. You guys chose a whole bunch of names that sounded amazing. Seriously, you guys chose amazing names for that next gen console. And then we talk, we spoke about more things on that next gen console now in this video so this video was born out of one of those comments that said why not make a next gen mario video so let's go ahead and break down the next gen mario game just like we broke down that next gen console let's get started all right so using that video as a template since you guys loved it so much let's start out the same exact way and i'm going to give you a task down below in the comments okay number one two things you're going to choose two things one what will the next mario be called okay that that that's that's your first question what will the next mario be called right down below in the, in the comments and what will it be will it be a 3d mario or will it be a 2D Mario? Because we have more things to talk about here. It's more in depth. So write down, that's your. That's what you have to do in the comments below. Let's continue talking about this while you write that down below. All right, so this is the part of the video where we break down the release dates in the past so that we have a, an idea of the pattern Nintendo has of releasing games, in particular, the Super Mario game. And this will give us a better understanding on how long we have left before we see the next Mario game. So let's go ahead and I, I'm here at GamerTweak.com. They have an amazing list of all the Mario games and their release dates. And let's see how much time passes between Mario game before the next one comes out. Let's start with the, the first Mario game in 1985. It's not the first Mario game, I understand that. But the first uh, console Mario game was released in 1985, and that was Super Mario Brothers. And let me just tell you with this, with the with, with this console, there were three Mario, three mainline Marios released with this console. Uh, some people say two because that Super Mario 2 was basically just a dream that had nothing to do with the series at all. Super Mario Bros. was released in 1985, right? And then... Super Mario Brothers 2 in 1988. That was three years later. And then Super Mario Brothers 3 in 1988, which is basically very back to back. Nintendo just released all three Marios literally within within a couple of years. And this is understanding because it was the very first console. This is Nintendo entering into the console area and this was all new to them. So they wanted to release as many games as possible when it comes to Mario. Mario was, was brand new still when it comes to home consoles, right? Mario existed in the arcade. So they wanted to release Mario as much as they could. So they released Mario Brothers, Mario Brothers Lost, well, Mario Brothers 2 in Japan, which is Mario Brothers Lost Level here in the States. And Mario Brothers 2, which is completely a game that had nothing to do with Mario. And uh, Mario Brothers 3, which was released also in 1988, which is crazy, right? Then the ma next mainline Mario was released for the Super Nintendo in 1990. So, hey, guess what? Look at this. 1985, Nintendo released Super Mario Brothers 1. And then in 1990 they released Super Mario World. So basically there we have from the first game to the Super Nintendo mainline Mario, we got five years. And then from the Super Nintendo Mario to the Nintendo 64 Mario, we got six years, okay? So we have a six year there, so five and then six years. Then in 2002, we got six more years, all right? From the uh, Nintendo 64 to the GameCube, we got six more years between Mario games, all right? So then the next console will be the Wii and we got 2007. Here we only got five years from the Nintendo GameCube to the Nintendo Wii, we only waited five years. So we got five, six, six, and five. 
All right, then. All right, so when we get to the Wii, we get something very interesting here because for the first time since the NES, Nintendo releases more than one mainline game for one console, which is Super Mario Galaxy. We know we got Super Mario Galaxy in 2007, and then about what, three years later, we got Super Mario Galaxy 2, okay? So that's how maybe that successful that game was, I guess. But yeah, in 2010, we got Mario Galaxy 2. But let's count from 2007 until the next console, next gen console, Super Mario Brothers, which was Super Mario 3D World, okay? Then that was for the Wii. All right, so from the 2007 to 2013, we got six years with Super Mario 3D World, all right? And now from Super Mario 3D World to the next gen console, we got about four years, okay? This is due to the Wii U not performing as expected, so Nintendo went ahead and and push the Nintendo Switch, uh, maybe schedule ahead of time. And that's how we got the Super Mario Odyssey game release in 2017, along with the Nintendo Switch. All right, so that was like four years. But if we put this all together, uh, it's, it's, if we round it up, we know that Nintendo took some time, about five years, some, some years, six years to release a new Mario mainline game. So the most Nintendo has taken to release a new mainline Mario game has been six years now when was the nintendo uh when was the when was mario odyssey released we are in the year 2022 2017 18 19 20 21 22 all right so nintendo has taken six years the most to release a mainline mario game for a next gen console so just like the next gen video we see here that we are very close to seeing the next gen Mario on the next gen console. All right, so now we know that Nintendo has taken just five to six years, six the most to release a next gen Mario, right? A, a next gen Mario is basically that, that mainline Mario for that new console. So we're expecting one very, very soon. Now, before you get too excited, let's talk about whether it's gonna be a 2D or a 3D. And then also let's talk about, will it be a 2D or a 3D Mario? Game, and will it be open world? That's the next question, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about this. What do we know so far and what has been the latest rumor on this topic? Well, the latest rumor tells us, uh, it's by an insider, I guess, called Zippo, uh, some, somebody that a lot of people have kind of written off, but I guess now they're talking to him again. I don't really cover rumors, so I don't really know. According to the Nintendo insider Zippo, a new 2D Mario game is currently in development. They say that the new Super Mario moniker will not be used as described in the game as it's 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 its own, it's its own thing. So it's not going to be like the the new Super Mario Brothers like like the previous 2D uh, Mario games. Uh, Zippo also claims that it will feature a new art style that will take some people by surprise. So that is basically the only uh, rumor out there when it comes to a Mario game. And it, it says that it's gonna be a 2D Mario game that's currently in development. And not only that, but it's gonna be a brand new art style that will take people by surprise. Uh, if you ask me, I am not sure if I'm on board with that when it comes to that 2D Mario. When uh, 2D Marios don't sell as much as 3D Marios. Now, I found an article, an article by Miyamoto that talks about the next gen console, right? The next gen Mario game. And this is after Mario Odyssey. So, you know, he's talking about that next gen Mario. Let's go ahead and read a little bit about it and break it down as well. All right. So Miyamoto wants the next 3D Mario to further expand the series, which is very, very cool. Okay. Uh, and, I'll, and, and I'll give you my opinion on what I feel he means when it comes to further expanding the series. All right. So speaking during the Q&A following the publication of the latest financial results, Miyamoto said that the success of Super Mario o um, Odyssey had made it clear to the company was succeeding in the attempt to make 3D Mario games playable by a large audience. And what he means there is, be is that um, they considered 2D Mario to be like more of a generic Mario where everybody from every age level could play. And then 3D Marios were supposed to be a, a little bit more difficult to play for, for you know, that, that core audience that are very good at playing Mario games, right? To challenge you more. So that's what he means there uh, with the latest Mario Odyssey they found that everybody was able to play every single, you know, from, from, from the younger ages to the 
to the older ages was able to play Mario Odyssey. That's So that's what he means there. When asked about the difference between 2D and 3D Mario, Miyamoto explained that the new Mario Brothers series was designed to create a Mario game that was accessible to players of all skill levels. So, and then he goes on to say that recently people of all generations have been enjoying the 3D Mario game, Super Mario Odyssey, uh, released in 2017. So for 3D Mario going forward, we want to try expanding further in new ways. Th this is Miyamoto talking about the brand new next gen Mario, right? The one that comes after Mario Odyssey. And he says he wants to try to expand and in new ways. And I feel like they did this with Bowser's Fury. Yes, Bowser's Fury, believe it or not, was just a taste of the next gen Mario. So if you have not played Bowser's Fury and you're looking forward to the next gen Mario, I urge you play go go play Bowser's Fury because that is the future. Bowser's Fury is an open world game, fully open world where you can go and go to any level you want right there on the map and just get those little sunshine thingies, the little cat shines or whatever, you know, and try to to defeat Bowser, right? This this game is so great that is I, I see it as a big, giant, huge boss battle of a game because Bowser, I'm not going to tell you much. Go play. Go play. But the next gen Mario will be just like Bowser's Fury, which is a, a completely open world. I think it, it'll be even more of an open world concept than Bowser's Fury was. And that's where Nintendo wants to take it. I also want Nintendo to expand on the story, right? There's still so much of a story that we don't know when it comes to Mario uh, and, and and Princess Peach and every character within the Mushroom Kingdom. I, I would love to see more story-driven games, um, you know, that get us, you know, attached to these characters. I want to know the backstory of Princess Peach, like the real backstory on a game, not on a show back in the past where they... They just wrote scripts, but on a real uh, Mario mainline game. I want to know the, the backstory of Princess Peach. I want to know uh, Mario and Luigi growing up. I want to know uh, the, the Mushroom Kingdom. How did it come to be? You know, uh, how? where is Peach's, Princess Peach's parents? You know, stuff like that. I want to see them get more immersed inside the story of what uh, Super Mario is, because I know there's much... To tell there. There is also the question whether the next gen Mario game will tie into the parks, right? The Super Nintendo World Parks and as well as the movie that is coming up next year, right? I'm not going to get too much into the movie. I am looking forward to it because I know it's a big step for Nintendo and the Mario franchise. And look, hey, Mario is my guy. That's that's my main expertise. Mario. I love Mario so much and I know that the movie is going to be great. But there's also that question whether the Mario game is going to take after the movie or it's going to be influenced by the movie and the parks as well you know uh if, if it all depends on the next gen console whether the next gen console will have different features you know that will also influence the game uh vr something in that line you never know something crazy two dual screens right uh you know whatever the next gen console has uh, there, it, it's going to influence what the game can do, what the game is about, and what we are able to do within the game. So there's still a lot of un unanswered questions when it comes to that because we still have to have that next gen console uh, in our hand, you know, to enjoy it, right? So so far in this video, we've broken down. You guys have chosen the name down below in the description, along with whether it's going to be a 2D or 3D Mario, right? We have basically uh, went over the if whether it will be open world style we heard from miyamoto uh and what what he wants from this next gen console or i mean next gen mario game and we've also broken down how long it takes from for nintendo to release a mario game right from mario game to mario game to mario game and we've come up with uh five to six years so it's already been five years since mario odyssey okay we are already in the sixth year. If we do get a next gen Mario game, according to what we know from Nintendo's release schedule in the past, we should be expecting a brand new Mario game announced in February's Nintendo Direct. Yes, there's the Nintendo Direct in February, like every single year. This is not a speculation or me trying to guess when it is. Every year, February, there's the Nintendo Direct. Every single year. Nintendo has a February one, a June, and a September one. So there's always three in the year. So 
Yeah, uh, Mario game along lines with the next gen console. Let me know what you guys think about the next Mario game. What are you looking forward to the most when it comes to next gen Mario? What would you like to see added to next gen Mario? Let's go ahead and talk about that down below. And of course, just like the last video, I will reply to your comment down below because you guys always have the best, best, best ideas ever. You guys come up with so, so many crazy cool things that I could not come up with. So it's so these discussion videos are super fun because we can talk to each other and just kind of expand on each other's ideas, right? So let's go ahead and do that down below in the description. Let me know if you like guys like this next gen uh, series. And then maybe tomorrow I can choose one of your comments down below and tomorrow's video will be another game on next gen of a certain game that's coming out uh in the future let me know if you guys want to see that all right guys that is it for this next gen video i guess i am mike odyssey and i only have two more things to tell before i go number one never give up and number two journey on peace we are on a journey looking back on the things that we've taken for granted but feels like we're learning to be better without